Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back. I hope you guys are doing fantastic out there. In this video today, we have an offering from Bouge RV. I'm very excited about. Let's take a look at this flexible solar panel. So right here on the top of the package you can see the user manual, nice foam insert, and there's nothing left in the package so we'll set that aside. Let's lay this thing down and unroll it, packaged very well. Uh, this is a large solar panel. It's longer than this table that I've got it laid out on. Take a look at these premium solar cells. Look at that. Take a quick look, a close look at those. This is a beautiful solar panel. The camera does not really justify the quality of what I'm seeing on this solar panel. You've got the MC4 connectors already on the panel. And then right here, you can see this tag. This is a 200 watt panel. There are the specifications of the solar panel. And wow, this is a beautiful solar panel. I really like this. Here's the user manual, CIGS Thin Film Solar Panel. I love this. It rolls up and it's very small, bougerv.com. Now we're not going to have a lot of pages to go through because this is in many different languages, but we're going to go through the user manual portion for English. So approximately 16 pages. Now what I really like right off the bat is the font size is very large. It's easy to read everything that we're looking at here. So if you want to pause your screen to read this information a little bit longer, please feel free to do so. Flexible. This panel can fit around curved structures, flexible for all shapes. Stable output. Stable output can still be guaranteed in shadow occlusion environments. Waterproof. Don't worry about it in wet environments. Lightweight. No frames. No special stands or mounting brackets needed. And glass free. Nothing can be broken. That is fantastic. Let's keep going. Right there it talks about the polysilicone cells and the CIGS thin film module versus the polysilicone. So this is a different technology. Very, very cool. I like this a lot. This is a beautiful looking solar panel. Look at that thing. That is awesome. Safety instructions right here. Limited warranty information. There's some contact information for Bouge RV. And then some safety instructions. We're going to continue on. It will give us the dimensions of the 200 watt version. So we are 82.2 inches long by 26 inches deep. So that is crazy. And then it gives you the drill locations where you can drill. Basically 0.2 inches off. That is pretty cool. They do have a 100 watt version, but we're looking at the 200 watt version. More information. And then of course it says how to use if you're in a solar off-grid situation, how you can attach it. Now look at this, this thing is curved over like a camper. Awesome. So you would basically take your panel into a charge controller and then run that into a battery. You can also use it to charge all your popular power stations with the right adapter. So I have some of those adapters and they work very good. 
series, how you would connect them in a series. You're basically putting the positive from one to the negative on two. Then you would, uh, you'd have basically a 400 watt system. So pretty cool. And parallel, put the positives together, put the negatives together. And then right here, there are some electrical parameters. That is for the 100 watt unit. So I'll show you that in just a sec, in case there's anybody out there that has one of those. But we're gonna skip on. Go to the 200 watt parameters right here. Maximum power, 200 watts. Solar cell efficiency, 17%. The maximum power voltage is 24 volts. Maximum power current, 8.52 amps. Open circuit voltage, 30.4. Short circuit current is 9.48. 1,000 volt DC is the maximum system voltage. And then of the, the operating temperature limits, don't want to go above 185 degrees or below minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's a wide temperature range. So very cool. Uh, photovoltaic max temperature coefficient is minus 0.38%. That is pretty good. So I'm liking this. Again, there are the dimensions. 82.2 inches by 26 inches. That's a large panel, 8.44 pounds or 3.83 kilograms is the weight. There's again the specs on the 100 watt version. And then right here, some information. Let's continue on. We're almost finished, folks. Here's some facts, frequently asked questions. Again, that pause button might be your friend. This is a nice user manual. It gives us lots of information. I like this. And I'm pleasantly surprised with the size of this thing, the weight. It's not a heavy solar panel. So there you have all the information on the English portion of the user manual. Take a look at that. That is fantastic. This thing is, is so thin and it's flexible. It's very flexible. I, I like it. And I love the way those photovoltaic cells look. They look really nice. That is a nice looking panel. And 200 watts of output. That's, that's a lot of power. So that's a look at the sun that we're dealing with right now. So we're not really in direct sunlight but I'm gonna go ahead and test the open circuit voltage real quick so I am receiving 25.84 volts DC that is fantastic that's pretty good voltage 25.82 that's not bad folks that is pretty good open circuit voltage and I'm not even in direct sunlight. So when I refer back to open circuit voltage, 30.4, so we're doing pretty good. Now let's try the short circuit current, 9.48 amps. Let's take a look at that. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and test the DC amperage right here. We will go here, right there, and right here. And we are bringing in 1.23 amps DC, which isn't very much. That's not bad, but it could be a heck of a lot better. We don't have a lot of sun right now as well. That is a beautiful solar panel. I'm really liking the way this thing looks. So right now you can see that it's flexed all the way around this little trailer. Now I wouldn't suggest installing it that way. I think it would be better to go lengthwise on the trailer, but that looks kind of cool. I'm just showing you how much this thing can curve. Now take a look at this configuration. Look at that. That would fit perfect on there and look at how it conforms to the curve on the trailer. That would be perfect. And I like how this jun junction box is angled, so if you were going down the road, your wind is naturally gonna go up off of here. 
it's not going to create a big wind draw. That is a nice looking panel and it fits this trailer perfectly. We could put 200 watts on the roof of this trailer and have plenty of power. Crazy how small and how flexible this panel is. I've never seen one this flexible. The other flexible panels that I've reviewed in the past, they were very brittle and this one doesn't feel that way. So here we are the following day. I had to wait till today because I was losing sunlight yesterday. But what I want to do now is I want to test the open circuit voltage and the short circuit current of this panel. So let's get out the old multimeter and let's go to volt DC. Let's take these leads here. And I'm trying to do this in a way where I'm not conflicting with the input of what the solar panel brings in. We are bringing in 27.70 volts. That's not too bad. Now if I want to switch over to amperage, go to direct current amperage, we'll swap this lead over here. And let's see what this thing does with its amperage. So we'll connect that one and connect that one. We are bringing in 9.18 amps DC. That is fantastic performance out of this panel and I'm not even in full direct sunlight so I'm very impressed. It's working extremely well. Okay this next test what I want to do is I want to take my solar generator and I have some MC4 wires that come down to an 8 millimeter. So I'm going to plug these into the solar panel and we'll start charging this solar generator. So I'll just plug these in. And from here, we'll plug it in here. You can hear the fan kick on. So now let's take a look, a closer look at those numbers. Now the panel is slightly shaded. Now I hope the camera's picking this up. I'm bringing in 150 watts of input right now, 151. And like I said, that panel is slightly shaded. So the performance right now is absolutely fantastic. That panel's producing. Even standing back right here, I can see 150 watts coming in. That is wonderful performance. So as I'm filming this video and I'm watching these numbers come in, 143 watts, it reminds me or it makes me think about a small chest freezer that I picked up yesterday on Marketplace. And the reason I bring that up is because that little chest freezer only draws like 115 watts. So what that tells me is that this panel here in good sunlight would easily power that chest freezer and continue to charge the battery of that system. So I'm really impressed with the performance of this panel. Okay, so right here we're taking a look at the solar panel. It's just sitting on the ground and we are charging at 131 watts. Hopefully you can see those numbers. So now we're going to do a quick water test. We're going to just pour water all over the solar panel as fast as it can go. Look at that. That is crazy. We are testing the IPX8 waterproof rating of this panel. Now we'll come back to the solar generator and look at that. It did not affect the outcome at all. We're still bringing in 137 watts of input. So as you can see, this panel clearly passes the IPX8 waterproof testing with flying colors. Well folks, my final thoughts on this panel, this 200 watt panel from Bouge RV are simple. This thing is absolutely fantastic. As you could see in the video today in my testing, 
it performed very well. I want to say thank you to Bouge RV for sending this panel out for review. I really like it. It's easy to hook up and it really honestly exceeded my expectations. So if you guys are interested in anything like this that's going to fit a curved surface or something that's super lightweight, I'll put a link in the description box down below. I want to say thank you guys for joining me today on this video. I hope that its information was useful to you. I hope you guys have a beautiful day and until next time, we'll see ya. Bye for now everybody.